Well, that was Murphy's Law. Using a little outboard to get me out through the cut here. And I ran out of gas right in the middle of the channel, so I had to drop anchor, quickly refuel. Good thing, uh, good thing nobody was trying to come in and out. So we're off again. Where's the gas can? I gotta go up and stow my anchor now. So it is a little after seven in the morning. And uh, I'm gonna try to get around the tarpaulin cove. So far we got nice wind. Um, the forecast for pretty much the uh, next several days, although tomorrow afternoon we'll get some wind, but the forecast is just really variable winds uh, with calms in between. It's just very, uh, it's a very unsettled weather pattern. Um, but uh, hopefully I'll get the tarp on today and then tomorrow afternoon go around the Vineyard Haven, which will uh, get me to a grocery store because I'm running out of fresh food here. Um, and then uh, hopefully I'll find a window to jump to Maine. Uh, uh, so far, it's, uh, as I say, we're just in this weather pattern. But, uh, there's just all these little troughs and high pressures and what it means is just constantly varying winds. And uh, then there's also this uh, possibility of a tropical storm. It looks like it's not gonna, it's not gonna hit us. But uh, again, it's, it's gonna disrupt the normal weather pattern for a while. Well, geez, don't take her out of autopilot on my account. Well, on the Vineyard Sound side, we still have wind, thankfully. Although we are close hauled now. And we got nice flat water. So, so far so good here. Oh, we lucked out with the, we lucked out with everything today. Early bird gets the good uh, the good day's sail in. Was up at 5:30, and except for that running out of gas in the middle of the channel, getting out of Hadley's, I guess that's my uh, that's my punishment for using an engine, right? Uh, other than that, we have fair wind and fair current the whole way. It's just a little before noon, which is good. Because at least all the weather models this morning are saying this wind is just going to go down to nothing this afternoon. So we're anchored in Tarpaulin Cove, right off a nice beach here. And uh, so, just got to straighten up with the boat and uh, have lunch here. We're right in this dead patch of wind. Um, and the other thing is this current is it's slack now. It's turning against us, so we're, we're running out of time. Well, at least the wind is filling in. As you can see, it's quite sloppy as it usually is off the of west chop. And the wind is constantly working forward. It's coming more subtly, which is sending me round and round with trimming sails.
Doesn't take long. We're fighting about a knot and a half now. The good news is we don't have too much further. You see that little red knot up there. Once you, by the time you get up to that knot, there's pretty much no current. Well, it's wrong about the nun theory. We're, we're still fighting. Eh, about a knot, knot and a half of current. So hopefully we'll get under the lee of uh, East Chop up here and that'll, uh, that'll kill our current. Kite sailor really startled me. Not only do they go fast, but they make almost no noise. So they, they just suddenly they seem to appear out of nowhere. about 8.30 in the morning on Tuesday, the 7th of June, and uh, we got a little bit of wind. It looks like you, it, it's more when you get out there, so I think uh, it's time to pick up anchor and get underway and uh, start running start running for the Round, round Shoal Channel, which is about 35 miles. Uh, we're going to have to fight a foul current until about noon. However, the current gets weaker once you get east of East Chop. Um, so that's why I don't want to go out there in really light winds. Now these winds are forecast to pick up this afternoon. And uh, we should have good wind 15 knots or so overnight. And uh, Tomorrow could get a little interesting. Uh, it looks like we're going to get a pretty heavy patch of wind uh, midday. So wind's getting up into the mid-20s, uh, probably in the 20 to 30 knot range from the south-southwest uh, before they're going to uh, shift west to southwest and then drop back down to about 10 to 15 knots. Um, and then after that the models don't agree what's going to happen. So uh, we'll just see. Hopefully uh, by Thursday morning we'll be closing the main coast. Uh, this is a run of about uh, a little less than 200 miles. It's about 180 miles. So anyway, it's time to get going. Well, bye-bye Vineyard Haven. <laughs> Probably see you again in the fall. All right, come on, baby. Get moving here. Coming up on East Chop here, and uh, you always want to leave a judicious distance, especially West Chop, because those, those currents really get swirly off there. And uh, if you don't have a powerful inboard diesel, you want to be really careful. All right, so here we are. It's June seventh. Time is oh nine three oh. And we're off East Chop. Wind is south at seven knots. Course about one one zero. Nantucket Fast Ferry. Alright, so I can make out the lighthouse, which is right on the end of Great Point. That's the northern tip of Nantucket. After that, we enter into the Great Round Shoal Channel. And from there, it's, it's about a 12-13 mile run. There's a little bit of a curve in it, but basically you steer east. And, uh, about, yeah, 12-13 miles past Great Point. And uh, then we can bear away and start heading in a more north-northeasterly direction. 
Ahoy everyone! Well, it's still Tuesday, the 7th of June, Tuesday evening. It's about uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. And we finally cleared the last of the, well, let's say dangerous shells, where we're still, uh, uh, we're, we're out of the round shell channel now, and uh, we just sailed past Orion Shoal. Uh, we're still in fairly shallow water. It's uh, between about 40 and 60 feet. So we got about another 10 miles or so to go before it drops off into the Great South Channel until uh, we get out past the 100 foot line. Um, and uh, otherwise, it's absolutely pleasant out here. We got just totally flat water. And probably the reason for that is that we've had so little wind this past week. Um, and that, that was part of the reason I've just been hanging around. Uh, the vine Vineyard Sound and Hadley's and so forth is uh, for the past couple of weeks it's either been very light winds or uh, north northeast winds so headwinds so just really no windows to sail so I finally took this one we'll see how good this one is uh, it's going to get interesting tomorrow morning the National Weather Service is saying 15 to 25 knots although we're going to get rain tomorrow and it's going to be south to southwest 15 to 25 so that's 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 not bad um that'll be uh, broad reaching for us especially if it comes southwest then it's uh, a nice broad reach um however the last weather maps the computer models i looked at were a little more uh looked a little a little scarier um, that uh, tomorrow morning they were showing as this cold front passes, getting patches of winds, uh, mid-20s, gusting low 30s, so getting up to near uh, light gale force. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm rooting for the National Weather Service on this one. Uh, if it stays in the 15 to 25 range, I'll be, I'll be happy. Um, and then Thursday, hopefully we'll be approaching the main coast <coughs> on Thursday. And last I looked, the weather models don't agree at all on that. The GFS says strong southerly is developing. Uh, the, uh, the European model has light, light to moderate northeast and then, uh, and then becoming westerly. Uh, again, light to moderate. And then I, I think as you get into Saturday, then southwesterly is returned. So who knows? Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully these winds will just continue from the south and southwest, and uh, we'll just uh, and uh, we'll we'll make our way into Maine on sometime on Thursday. Uh, fingers crossed. So anyway, as I say, it's it's pleasant out here now. So you take good times when you got them. And uh, in fact, it's uh, it's so nice, flat, and pleasant. I think I'll be able to make myself a decent dinner tonight. So. Um, so can't complain. Can't complain about that. We'll see. We'll talk to you all again tomorrow.